This video is about the complex analysis practice problems on Cauchy Riemann equation and singularities. So now I am solving my own complex analysis exam paper. So now in that paper, this was a Cauchy Riemann equation question. So this was a question on Cauchy Riemann equation and it gave us a function and told us to find u and v and to find that if that function is analytic or not and to find f at z equal to 1 plus 3i. This was a 5 mark question. So it's really easy 5 mark question. Just put z equal to x plus i y. Now you have to solve this question by yourself on a paper because you will think that you know how the solution is but you will learn new things when you solve them by yourself. So putting x plus i y in this given equation we get x square minus y square because i to square is minus 1 so this minus plus 2 x i y plus 3 x plus 3 i y so now we will separate the real and imaginary part we get this and this so this is our u and this is our v so now we have to check for Cauchy Riemann equations. So we find del u by del x and which is 2x. This is constant 0 plus 3. And del v upon del y is 2x plus 3. So these are equal. Hence first condition is satisfied. Now del u upon del y is equal to minus of 2y. And del v upon del x is equal to 2y. So now del u upon del y is equal to minus of del v upon del x. Hence Cauchy Riemann equation hold hence this function is analytic. Now we just have to put z equal to 1 plus 3i in the given equation. So when we put it we get 1 square plus 3 to the 9 and iota square is minus 1 plus 2ab which is 6i plus 3i plus 9i and 6i plus 9i is 15i and solving this we get a minus 5. So this was its answer. Now the other question, this was a 10 marks question, was really easy to find the Cauchy Riemann equation in polar form. So this is a theory question and I have done it in the theory part. So I won't solve it in here. Now a singularity question was this, that we have to find the singularities of tan z. Now we know that tan z is sin z upon cos z and cos z is 0 when z is equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2 which is z equal to pi by 2 comma 3 pi by 2 comma 5 pi by 2 and so on. So now we have to check what type of singularity is this. We will take limit z approaches to 2n plus 1 pi by 2 where n is this sin z upon cos z. Now we can't solve this. We will use the L hospital root. Take the derivative sin z is cos z and cos z is minus sin z. Now we will apply the limit to get a finite value. Hence this is a removable singularity at z equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2. So these were the singularities. Now there were also some other singularity question, but those were not separate question. Those were uh, Cauchy integral formula questions and expanding function by Lorentz series. But I thought you should know what type of singularities are there in those questions. So in this question, if we multiply by z minus pi by 6 raised to the power 3 and limit z approaches to pi by 6 at pi by 6 this is not analytic. So if we multiply it and then solve, then we will get a finite value. Hence, this have a pole of order 3 at z equal to pi by 6. Here, it is the pole of order 3. Wait a second, I write pole of order 3 at z equal to pi by 6. Here, z equal to 0 is pole of order 3. 3. Here z equal to 1 is pole of order 3 and here z equal to 0 is a pole of order 2 and z equal to 3 is a pole of order 2 also. So this is how we find singularities in questions like Lorentz series and Cauchy integral formula questions. So thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.